I don't know if you'll be into this. I guess we'll see. But I usually like these videos. So let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up if you like it. If you like this type of video. But I've got my list. This movie, I've got to return a bunch to the library. Did you guys see Pitch Perfect 1? Anyway, they're really funny. Pitch Perfect 2 is really, really funny. Um, going to head out the door. Going to the grocery store. Going to run a few errands. Was thinking I'd take you along with me. So come on. Okay, guys. I don't have one of those cameras that have the flip screen so I'll use my yeah I don't even know if I'm in the, this right so I'm gonna head to the grocery store now but I just wanted to ask you guys I cook almost all of our meals at home when you hear all of these numbers like NPR Terry Gross I love her show hi um, let me get out of here. I'm doing this safely. I have my phone or my camera prepped. But <clears throat> when I go to the store, I try to go to the store more often. And just buy for a few meals. Then I feel... Well, I know because I've thought about it a lot. We waste a lot less food. So Ooh, my phone's ringing. Okay, where was I? I had to pull over because my dad was calling. Are you guys daddy's girls? I talk to my dad every day. I, right now... I'm going to return some stuff to the library before I go to the grocery store. We just had a new library built in my neighborhood and the return is all like digital now and it gives you a reading of what you're returning and it's pretty cool. I'll take a little video of it so you can see what it looks like. Love to um, get books from the library that are like, well I love to read first of all. But on the nights that I can't read, there's something about, like, touching a book while I'm drinking tea at night that makes me feel relaxed. It's a routine thing, I guess. So I've been really into, like, um, coffee table books, style books lately. Just beautiful, beautiful books to skim through that... You know, if I don't have a lot of time that night, that's just beautiful or inspiring. Um, I got, I posted on Instagram before, but I got a really beautiful El Decor book last time. Highly recommend it. Gorgeous. Uh, so anyway, maybe I'll try to see if there's something like that. And I've been trying. Okay, did everybody but me know that The Martian was based off of a book? I didn't know that, but I would have read it first otherwise. I really liked that movie. I just recently watched it three nights ago. It's really good. I recommend it. Anyway, if you're interested, I'll show you what I got. Pocoyo for the kids. P. 
Peter Pan because ours got a scratch on it. And now it's not working. So, yay library. I love books like this, as I was telling you. But, let me put this up. How beautiful is this design book? I love that. And then I also got this, which looked interesting. It gives recommendations on, you know, estate sale buying to thrift sale buying, garage sales. Restoration even. So that looks really cool. Got this for the older kids. The secret knowledge of grown-ups. It looks really fun. Yay! So they hear it from somebody else besides me. This because one of my girls is interested in getting into martial arts, so we need to find out more. And who doesn't love anything ancient Egypt? I know I do. So this will be fun. I read to the little ones every night. So we're reading a lot of Valentine's books right now, but that will change things up a bit and now off to the grocery store. You're listening to the Diane Reem Show. My name is Maria Hinojosa and I'm the anchor of NPR's Latino USA sitting in for Diane Reem. And if you uh, want to, to be actually right on the farm. Right. And Will, uh, you, you wanted this to be located in an urban environment. You wanted this in a residential community. In fact, near a public housing project in a place where there are not a lot of locations to buy fresh produce. Was that one of your key motivators as well? Well, that was my original purpose for purchasing this property to bring food into what many people call these food desert areas. And uh, we're five blocks away from the largest public housing project in Milwaukee, uh, about a 75 acre facility. Uh, we have, as we look into the future, we're going to have to be able to grow in hoop houses and greenhouses because of climate change. We're already being affected by that. Uh, we grow our own soil. We have a large composting operation last year. We okay, so back from the store, back from the library. Uh, this is what I got. I'll show you what I got. Spent. Spent $99.28, got enough for, well, let's see, I got over three pounds of ground beef, three pounds of tur ground turkey for, I'm going to make a turkey meatloaf, going to make chili, got the rest of the things that I needed to make for chili, got some flat leaf parsley, but you'll see that's for one of the pasta dishes I'm making for dinner, um, cherry tomatoes, avocados, and we use these in um, morning shakes sometimes too. Bananas, um, a dessert. It's so much cheaper to buy this, even when you buy like the more expensive box stuff, which I would recommend the Ghirardelli is the best. But for lunch, you know, uh, sweets to put in the kids' lunch or after dinner, I always just bake a cake or um, make brownies or something like that because it's so simple and cheaper and whatever um the kids nobody can like the same thing around here some like chocolate some like the vanilla 
sweet cereal. Don't judge. They all like different ones too. Snacks for the little, little ones, bigger ones. And then this also is a breakfast option with, um, I got some really good frozen uh, turkey sausage from Costco. I should show you that sometime. It was really, they're really good though. Uh, for with breakfast this for with the chili these oyster crackers um cheese cheese stick the little one really likes these she's pretty much the only one that eats those so we don't go through those too fast and, um besides that i pretty much already showed you the stuff that i got from the library but um these are some of the books that i already had that i renewed uh that i'd been reading to the girls I didn't find any other Mary Inglebright books. I mean, she has some holiday books, like the Halloween one my daughter loves. I read that pretty much year-round. But this is The Queen of Hearts. It is so cute. Get it from your library. It's a cute story. The illustrations are so great. The story is so cute. And if your kids are making, you know, their Valentine mailbox for school, it's all about that. So, um, anyway, renewed that, and what was the, oh, what else was I going to say about that? I was going to say about the, um, this is some of the stuff that I already have out for the chili. Her cookbook, let me turn this little lamp on. I've had this cookbook for, uh, let's see. I don't even know a long time. I've had this cookbook for a long time. Probably about 15 years old that I've had it. But it's really cute. I switched this out with my Mickey Mouse cookbook and a couple others. So I'm going to get all of the groceries put away and then get started with dinner. Okay, it is time to hustle. I have exactly an hour to get the chili started to get it cooking and to get both of the um well I don't know how many loaves so it'll probably make two loaves of uh turkey meatloaf ready to go and ready to put in the oven so here we go time to hustle oh my god I hate cutting onions <laughs> it's my mascara running <sighs> ah! okay here we go I have my pan preheated. I'm going to add a little bit of olive oil and then I'm going to cook the onions first. Okay, I always sweat my onions pretty good before I add the garlic and let the pan, I actually turn the heat down, let the pan cool a little bit because garlic, you don't want it to cook as long for one thing especially at higher heat because garlic can get a very bitter taste so always cook your onions first when they look pretty translucent is when I actually add the garlic in seems like most people add like even cooking shows I don't know I mean I could be completely wrong that's the way I do it I think the garlic takes tastes the best that way and I don't add um, the salt until I add um, the garlic. So let this kind of cool, sweat, then I'll add the garlic, then the meat will go in. Okay, added in the garlic, added in some salt and pepper. So now I'll cook that. I turn the heat down. You probably hear it's just, I have the burner on low. And I'll just let this get really aromatic and cook it kind of slower. And then um, once I get the meat in, then I'll turn the heat up a little bit. Then I'll need to drain that, drain the meat. And then I'll combine everything and get it in the crock pot. Okay, so I have the beef pretty much cooked. I need to drain it. I didn't get like the leanest beef there was. And I have the beans drained and I need to drain the beef now. And what I do is I use the calendar actually that I drain the beans in with a pan underneath to catch the grease. I'll show you how I do it. Hold on one second because I'll have to put the camera down. 
Okay, so you take the beef, you have it in there, you can see the grease draining out at the bottom, and then I will put it back in the pan. Okay, so now I am ready to add the beans, and I'm also going to add a large can of crushed tomatoes. A can of large can of mild chili and beans with all of the sauce, the flavored sauce. Lots of beans. And I'll add in a can of this tomato paste, though I'm going to need to do that with a spoon, so I'll wait just a second. And then I have, I bought a red and a orange um, bell pepper, which I usually would add both. I cut open the red bell pepper and there was mold inside. So unfortunately, I'm just gonna do the one bell pepper and make it work. And then I use this uh, McCormick chili powder and I'll stir, stir it all up and then distribute it into the crock pot. Okay, she is ready to go. I thought that I would have to distribute this into two crock pots. So I had another one out, but it all barely fit in this one. But I have it in the crock pot now. I have it set on high for five hours. Um, I'll check on it when I get back. I was not, unfortunately, I was not able to um, make the uh, meatloaf as well. But, and I have to go pick my daughters up. So hopefully, sometimes they fall asleep for a nap on their way back home, and if they do, then I will try to bring them in quietly and carefully, and then I can accomplish that. And if I do, then I'll try to take uh, a few little clips of how I make that. I make it very simple. I try to make everything pretty basic, actually, because that's what my family likes. Oh, there's my alarm. Bye. Wait a minute, though, and I wanted to see, because of the whole cooking thing, I've been using this planner, the... Whoa. I zoomed in here? Hold on a second. Maybe I was zoomed in on myself before. That wouldn't have worked out. Anyway, I'm using this. It's called the Happy Planner. And I got the package that has, uh, let's see, the to-do list. It has a meal planner. And I do plan out my meals. I usually just write it all out, but I was thinking, you know, I would try this out. It has a house cleaning type schedule, weekly cleaning schedule, um, and it has a budget. Anyway, do you guys use these? I'm sure there's like a billion videos on YouTube of people using these but anyway I was thinking about kind of starting to use this meal planner thing and would you guys be interested in like following along with me on that I don't know let me know if you would um I'll see if it helps out and keeps things a little bit more organized because then I'll just do my full week's worth whereas usually I go to the grocery store usually twice a week so but then I would have my second trip all ready for me. I don't know. We'll see how it works. It doesn't get better than the Axis Bold as Love album. Okay, we're back home and the girls are in the room. So we'll see if they fall asleep. But I will tell you what. For a family of six, if I do not do laundry, like, absolutely constantly... The horror. Okay, it's always stop and go to get my girl shows in. Which is almost embarrassing that I watch this. Um, but I do. In between doing... One of many loads of my life, but I don't have much women drama 
woman drama in my life. I don't know if it's just a girl thing. I don't know who she is. Oh, she's showing them this place. But I'll tell you what. These Beverly Hills women. What? I don't even have a soaker tub. Okay, I've got about another hour. The little ones are laying down. I've got about an hour until I have to go get one of my others and, um, and another one after that from uh, strings practice. But I haven't, I let's see it. I took out the trash, I took out the recycling, so that's done. So far, this is bubbling away. And it should be done right on time for dinner. I have this out because I still have to make this, but that shouldn't take long. This is just uh, 40 minutes to make. So I have this out to put that in. I have to make this. That's really quick and easy to make. Um, so I cleaned up the kitchen, have that ready to go, clean the dishes that I used to make the chili, and I don't like to get into any sort of cooking unless the dishwasher is empty and ready to load. Otherwise, it's just a huge disaster. So I still have you know, the stuff out to make, but honestly, I don't know if I'm going to make um, the meatloaf until tomorrow. We'll see. I still might, but I might just wait and do that tomorrow afternoon for tomorrow evening instead of making it ahead of time. So we'll see. This all cleaned up. Dishwasher going. This is cooling chili for the girls to take in their thermoses for school tomorrow. So it'll be easy just to heat up in the morning in this dish. Dishwasher going. Brownies are cooling, waiting to go in here. All of these ready for the chili to cool off. That's the rest of it. I'm going to freeze some and then put some in the fridge. Now it's time for me to run baths for the little ones. into blues lately. I think this one. Okay, I probably look awful. My skin has been so dry and I just like really exfoliated it. So I'm probably red and I have no makeup on. Anyway, tonight's the night.
for the nails. I usually paint my nails on Tuesdays. I can usually keep polish on my nails for a week if I keep a top coat going about every two days, though I didn't do that, so they look terrible. But anyway, I ended up picking out this blue. It's like a cobalt. And I'm having a glass of Riesling with ice. I know, that's weird. Anyway, it's the first glass of wine I've had in like two months, so kind of excited about that. Every time that I paint my nails, so once a week, I um, use the opportunity, since I don't have my ring on, to um, use the jewelry cleaner. So I let that soak the whole time. And I'm back to the show because I only watched like five minutes of it so anyway I'm gonna watch this have a glass of wine and paint my nails oh my goodness I'm loving this color instead of to keep them nice instead of doing just a clear top coat in a couple days don't you think that if I did like a gold glitter it would look like lapis this is by I don't feel like you're probably going to... Can you see that? Wet, W-H-E-T. The color. I love it. It goes on really streaky, but then the second coat completely fills it in. Anyway, I love it. And these bees be crazy. Good lord, it's so pretty. I've been in such a blue mood lately. Not as in unhappy. As in clothes and purses. Who couldn't find this entertaining? Okay, I'm going to say goodnight. Thanks for hanging out today. Let me know if you like this type of video. I had fun recording it. It was very basic. This was a very routine day. Some days are more exciting than others. But anyway, hopefully you liked the video if you did. Give it a thumbs up so that I know. Leave a comment. That would be cool. Um, let me know what you think. Bye.